another ninja tool, a tool and or weapon. I'm gonna actually add some saw teeth into one side, sharpen the other, so that will be a utility knife as well. As I added a bamboo handle that's very long, I can fit two hands on there, get a good dig, just get a good stick into a wall. The wow. next pieces of information are from these two books. This one from scrolls, this one complete translation of a tr of a scroll, ninja scrolls. Okay. Okay, next to the drill, we have the large saw, okay? This saw can be used on a house turret, wall, basically cut through a wall, okay? Cut through, uh, it says you can rotate it, simply rotate it in a spinning motion to get a hole, or simply saw away with the edge. That's something, okay? Fastening clamps should be used to become a blade. It should be made large. Now from True Path of the Ninja, again, this same image it's a tool says this is a tool right here. There's a tool called Suijiaburi, if I'm pronouncing it right. This is a tool for breaking through clay walls. It's very, very, very long. It has a saw edge around the rim. You can use this to break through walls by cutting while rotating it until you reach the other side. And when you flip the page, you have an even crazier image of something like this. Alright, again, homemade kunai, another version, bigger, homemade, saw-edged kunai. Have a very fine, sharp edge. Again, a nice sharp edge all the way around. Okay. About the size of my over the size of my hand. Kunai, the Shinobi's Kunai, which was the more than a tool of a tool than a throwing weapon. Would be used as a cutting implement and or a saw to get through stone castle walls. That would be this thing. But this is as accurately as I can come up with as a replica of the same thing that I saw in the museum, which some people call the ping pong paddle because of its round shape. I couldn't find something exactly round, but I came out with this. It basically has the saw teeth so that you can saw with it, as well as the sharp edge, so it would be used as a utility knife, as well as it's rather large and I have a long enough handle, it could be used easily as a shovel. This one, which later became the main idea of a throwing weapon. Why? Because this could have been used as throwing or staking and having rope and using it as a climbing implement as well.